they have an app that is a virtual rheloscope. So with his uh, telephone, he's able to calculate measuring the density of a tree, their height, their diameter, their cubic meter per hectare. Wow. Everything is uh, developed by Berna University in Switzerland. So they are generous. <laughs> so everybody can become a forest manager because all we have to do is go around with our cell phone. No. It's perfect. Be aware that uh, after five years you have the right knowledge in knowing what is perfect and correct forest management. Tools are tools, but mind is another thing, right? We are here with um, two foresters in northern Italy, uh, in Asiaccio, in the Asiaccio region. They are forest managers in a PEFC certified forests. They're being accompanied by Antonio Pronori, who is the director of PEFC Italy. I would like to introduce you Anna Sella, she's a forest engineer, and Marco Hi. Pellegrini, that is another forest engineer. How does forest management actually look like? I mean, what does a forest manager do? It's something that very few people outside of the forest know. This is Frieza. He's the, he's the mascot of uh, the forest team, PFC certified team with mascot. I feel like I'm in a cathedral. I mean, look around. It's it's amazing. I mean, you actually can hear the echo of your voice in a forest, in nature. At the same point in time, you have calm. You hear the animals, you hear the wind, you hear a river in the background. It's peaceful. Milza, <laughs> in I remind the fact that it's an artificial forest and therefore was uh, created by man. So we are trying to do a forestry close to the nature. That means uh, making the forest as much as natural as possible. Now we are uh, taking some measurements. Uh, in order to estimate the, the growing stock of uh, this forest. It's great to see the daily work of forest managers. It's something that someone hardly knows. And then we will also measure some uh, height of uh, a number of sample tree in order to, to make the, the final calculation and have the final number of cubic meter that we have uh, in average in this uh, area. You can see that people who, are, who know how is a forest, they move very smooth. It's like a dance, it's a forest dance. So what I noticed is that the larger trees were measured, but not the smaller ones. Why is that the case? Well, normally you does not measure the tree that are below 20 centimeters or more roughly. So you, because the, bi the biggest tree are the one that uh, of course has the, the highest uh, growing stock in the forest, the most important one. You're a good forester, you know? <laughs> So how do you actually measure the, the height of a tree? Do you have to uh, climb up? The, we have tools, it's called a hypsometer, from a Greek word hypsos, high meter measurement. So he has a tool that from a certain distance give you the angle and that is the trigonometric calculation. You have the high calculating the angle. In this case, a forest engineer is using mathematics to avoid very fatigating climbing up there and uh, having a rope down to the bottom. If I had ever known that tree 
trigonometry would be so useful, it might have been more fun when I was a student. Yeah, you know what? Being more in forests would be fun for everybody. So, I, um, to measure the height of the tree, you need to see the base of the tree and both the top of the tree. Then we need a reference height, and Antonio, I think, is perfect as a reference height. And uh, we need that Antonio stay just uh, in front of the tree that we want to measure. You can see that this is a healthy tree, and this is uh, a tree that will give a lot of uh, uh, timber when it will be cut. For the moment, it is giving a lot of uh, uh, health to the forest and uh, including house for insects and birds. And then, so the height is 34. What strikes me in this forest is um, the, the soil. It feels like you're walking in feathers. Um, foot massage included for free in your, in your, in your daily hike. With 43 diameter at the diameter at breast height plus 34 meter high, we calculated that is 2.4 cubic meter of timber. It's dense and it's green and, and, and the ground is green. But that's not how every forest looks. I mean that you have this really green cover is rare. So what causes this forest or this, this ground to look like a blue? Qui la foresta questo colore per la poca luce che penetra all'interno del bosco e quindi penetrando poca luce e tanta umidità della località eh, fa in modo che ci siano delle specie erbacee eh, del, del suolo come il muschio che prolifera in un modo meraviglioso. A forest engineer has to understand uh, what uh, organism has in front of him. It's not only wood, it's a community of interest for woodpecker, insect, mushroom, animals and men. <laughs>